Sa isang araw, mahigit 20 milyong katao ang nagbabiyay sa lungsod. 44% nito ang sumasakay sa jeep, 30% sa pribadong sasakyan at 24% sa bus. Makikita na tila mas maraming bilang ng mamamayan ang nakadepende sa jeep bilang pangunahing transportasyon. Natagpuan silang pakalat-kalat saan man. Kadalasan, dahil sa dami ng hinahatid at sundo ng mga ito, nakaharangan ang dalay ng mga sasakyan at nagkakaroon ng susigan sa kalsada. Ngunit, ang jeep nga ba ang tangin sa sanghi sa kaguluhan ng trafiko sa Maynila? Sa aming pagsusuri, nakipagpanay ang mga aming grupo sa sari-saring tao direktang naaapektuhan ng mga suliranin sa jeep. Kabilang na rito ang mga super, dispatcher, isang kasapi ng MMDA, at pasahero. Dagdag pa rito upang mabigyang patunay ang aming argumento, pumunta kami sa National Center for Transportation Studies o NCTS at makipagpanayam sa isang dalubhasa ng urban at regional planning at transport engineering. Ano ba ang kasalukuyang sitwasyon ng jeep? Based on the MUTES or the Metro Manila Urban Transport Integration Study that was conducted in, uh, from 1996 to uh, the year 2000, Um, 70% of all person trips in Metro Manila is by public transportation and uh, about 50, 56-55% is by jeepneys. So this statistics show the uh, important role that jeepneys play in the overall scheme of public transportation in Metro Manila. Ano nga ba talaga ang suliranin sa paggamit ng jeep? Marame, um, just try riding a jeepney and you can directly experience uh, problems with jeepney operations. Uh, one is the uh, indiscriminate loading and unloading of passengers and this creates traffic congestion. Another is, um, I don't know how widespread it is in Metro Manila now, but the unsafe overloading of jeepneys. When you see people hanging out of jeepneys like they're surfing. Solusyon ba sa traffic ang pagtanggal ng jeep? Hindi nyo ba importante yung jeep sa lipunan? Oh, importante. Walang ano eh. Uh, Tigahanin dati nyo ng mga commuters. So, sa umaga at saka sa ako. Pagpapasok at saka sa pauwi. Kailangan natin yan. Ano sa tingin nyo yung magandang solusyon para matanggal talaga yung traffic? Ako oh, wala lang mga jeep. Hindi na eh, hindi na masuro kay pwede yung no, nawawala yung mga jeep. Wala nga wala yung mga mahirap. Wala nga atas yan. Uh, mahirapan yung mga eh, tao. Papila yung mga jeep eh. One by one ang alis niyan eh. Hindi naman magiging cost ng traffic yun eh. Uh, yung magiging eh. cost ng traffic, pagka maraming volume mga pag... pag, 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 pag magiging malugag in terms of uh, stop out traffic. Pagkakasan ng traffic, pero siyempre, mas maraming, mas malaking problema yung kamara kasi mawala na ng transportation ng mga kamara. Ito yung pinaka-murang mundo ng transportation na pwede ng mga kamara. 
There is still a role, an important role that Japanese um, are supposed to be playing in the overall hierarchy of public transport modes, but the challenge is in identifying that role that Japanese should be playing. And policy makers and transportation planners should be able to identify that rational or reasonable role of Japanese. Maybe if they used to be the king of the major roads, then there may be a need now to relegate them to the, to the secondary or to the narrower roads, and they can serve, they can better serve another purpose. If maybe decades, decades ago they were the major means of transport, now because there are other faster and higher capacity modes of public transport like the LRT or maybe even the um, buses, then jeepneys can now play the role of feeder modes, meaning jeepneys can bring passengers, uh, they can collect passengers and bring these passengers to LRT stations. That means they are feeder. That's what we mean by saying that jeepneys are feeder modes. So it will be a new role. Well, they can be solved given the proper interventions. For instance, if we're talking of the uh, wanton loading and unloading of uh, jeepney passengers, then a possible solution to that would be stricter enforcement of traffic rules and regulations. Also, maybe there's a need to look at uh, some what we call geometric or engineering changes in the, in the um, configuration of the road. If there is space for a jeepney bay, that means space that's allotted for loading and unloading, so that uh, stopping vehicles, stopping jeepneys will not have to block the rest of the traffic. If there, if that is possible, then by all means, then. we can um, condense the problem into four issues. We call this the four E's of transportation. There's the engineering issues, which means that uh, we, we both refer to problems and also to solutions that are engineering in nature. So that means we need, there's a need, to, or there may be insufficient road space, or the uh, road system, or the pub public transport system, the physical side of it, anyway, is not properly designed, so we need to introduce some engineering improvements. That's the first E. The second E, is uh, education. Education of drivers, education of our motorists, education of passengers, education of pedestrians. So there, without this, or if there's a, uh, a weakness in this, then there will be problems that are education related. The third E is enforcement. So we need to strictly enforce rules and regulations. Now we are assuming here that the rules and regulations are responsive to the situation. If not, then that will bring us to the fourth E, which is enactment of rules and regulations that will be responsive to the present situation. Sa pananaliksik at paglilikom ng datos, lumalabas ang isang realidad. Hindi maaaring tanggalin ang pampasaherong jeep sa sistema ng transportasyon sa mga kali ng Metro Manila. Dahil sa rami nang nakadepende rito, yung haligi na ito na nagpapatakbo ng transportasyon sa ating bansa. Kung tanggalin ito, hindi rin mawawala ang kaguluhan sa kalsada at mawawala na rin ang pangunayang sasakyan ng Pilipino. Hindi jeep ang talagang suliranin, kundi ang mismong sistema ng pampublikong transportasyon. Paano naman kung padalitan ng jeep? Nudulot din ang kaguluhan sa dalaw ng trapiko sa sasakyang papalit rito. Kung bibigyan man ito ng solusyon, hindi ito nakabasa sa uri ng transportasyon. Nasa disiplina ng sumasakay at nagpapasakay ang sagot. Sasakay!